Why play Vayne bot lane? Well, she is an amazing duelist. She kills both tanks and squishies alike, she has amazing outplay potential, and she is a beast of a hyper carry. However, she does have a weaker early game compared to other carries, and her CC is incredibly reliant on her opponent being near terrain. Vayne's passive is she gains 45 bonus movement speed while facing towards a nearby visible enemy champion, and this bonus movement speed is doubled up to 90 when she's in her ultimate form. Vayne's Q is an auto attack reset which causes her to dash a fixed distance in a target direction, however this cannot be used to go through terrain. In addition, it empowers her next attack to deal additional damage. Vayne's W is just a passive. It causes her basic attacks on hit and her E to apply a stack of silver bolts. These can only be applied on one target at a time, and once the third stack has been applied, it consumes all the stacks to deal bonus maximum health true damage, which makes her incredible at carving through tanks. Vayne's E is a point and click ability which deals damage and knocks back the target. If the target is knocked back into terrain, they take even more damage and become stunned. Vayne's ultimate is a massive steroid which gives her additional attack damage and doubles her bonus movement speed from her passive. In addition, every time she uses the the Q, it grants her invisibility for one second, and the cooldown of Q is massively reduced while in this form, and this ability is extended by 4 seconds each time she gets an enemy takedown. For combos, a basic go to is to auto attack into your Q and then attack into your E to proc your silver bolts, and your all in combo is to use ultimate into Q attacking after. E them into terrain if possible before spamming away with attacks using Q for damage or safety as needed. For matchups, Vayne does great into scaling laners who she can easily farm against and wait for her opportunity to play aggressive, and she can struggle into lane bullies so who can easily abuse her slower early game. For runes, take this. Lethal Tempo just makes you a late game beast. For build orders, start Blade and Pot into tier 2 boots and a shiv. After this, a Triforce and Bork are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill orders, start Q then W then E before maxing W then Q then E taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ghost. Starting the game, you are the AD carry so your main focus is going to be on farming to scale into a late game beast. And one of the easiest ways to do this is by poking whenever you can and taking good trades. Always be looking for opportunities to get free damage on your opponent. Whenever they go up to farm, if you're able to hit them with an empowered auto, the damage will start to add up quickly, and when going for trade, your E will give you a massive advantage. Being able to auto attack into a Q empowered attack and an E will give you both great damage, proc your W true damage, and then knock them back. And whether you knock them back into terrain or not, it will still make it far more difficult for them to get any damage back to you. When you hit level 6, you now have access to all your tools to outplay your opponent. With your ultimate, you gain multiple invisible dashes and the ability to chase anyone down, especially if you combine this with Ghost. So with this available, as long as you have the room and you know you're going to win the fight, you'll guarantee yourself some kills. However, you rarely want to force these vites and you'll often get more value out of it waiting for your opponent to mess up and then using it to punish them. Entering the mid game, you want to take your tower as soon as possible and rotate mid. This will put you and your support in the center of the map for easy sieging and will allow two strong champions to quickly roam to fights and objectives. Entering late game team fights, you want to play the backline hyper carry. Your W means that you cut through both tanks and squishies alike, so you're free to attack anything you can in front of you. And of course, getting the first kill means your ultimate is extended. From here, you'll be relying on your ultimate empowered Qs to keep yourself safe while dealing tons of damage. Using your E to either guarantee a kill by stunning them or using it to peel for yourself. 